For this uh, installation, we're using a skeleton of a fireplace insert just to give you a visual of where the blower goes and some of the features of the blower. Uh, in your fireplace, obviously, you're going to be working with all these obstacles that are down in front. So when you install the blower, take the easy path in if there is one, either the left side, right side, whichever you have the most room in your fireplace. But down below, everything is gone. There's nothing showing. So I'm going to grab a GFK uh, 160 and we're going to show you. But another important thing to note is you need to have a minimum of four and a quarter inches to get this blower in. On this unit we're working at four and a half inches so we have ample room to put the blower in. And I'll show you how that's going to go in. Alright, the 160 is going to come pre-wired, pre-assembled so you don't have to do anything. I'm going to rotate this around and show you the mounting bracket on here. You've got four rubber feet that the blower sits on. If your install is close and you need to pick up another eighth of an inch, pull these rubber feet off and once you get through the opening, then put the rubber feet back on. So anytime it's going to be close, take the rubber feet off and it's going to help during the install process. So we're going to take the blower, it's going to go in through here, and again, you're working around obstacles. If you need to go over here further, get it in, get it in straight, rotate it around behind everything that else that you have in front, get the blower positioned in the center of the firebox. It's just going to stay there on its own. In the box, there is some Velcro strips that you can place on the back of this bracket, and I'm going to pull it back out to show you. If you put these Velcro strips on the back, that'll help secure it to the back of the fireplace. So put those, put those Velcro strips on. Get the unit to the back. This thing weighs six pounds, so it's just going to sit in here. Even if you didn't use those strips, it's going to sit here just fine. Um, you have your thermal sensor, and this is the thermal sensor, and it's on a bracket with a magnet. You are going to attach the whole bracket with the thermal sensor to the top side of that lower compartment, and you're going to leave it sit there. And as your fireplace heats up, that thermal sensor will heat up and when it hits 120 degrees your blower will come on. The other part of this cable has your variable speed control. It's an on off variable speed control. So turning this counterclockwise that's off. When you hear it click it's now on and it's in the high position. So turning it clockwise slows the blower down. So we're going to take it all the way back to off. I hear it click to the right. I know it's on and it's on high. On the bottom of this is a little sticky pad. In some units, it's just going to stay off in the corner and it'll be sitting there and you'll have to lower this lower compartment door to have access to it. On other units, you're going to have either a pre-drilled hole that'll allow this. You pull the knob off take the locking nut off, put it through the hole, put the locking nut on the outside, push the knob back on, and now you'll have your knob on the outside of the unit. Each unit is different, so some have it, some, some do not have it. So we're going to plug this thing in, and I've got an extension cord here for power just for demo, and we're going to plug the blower in, and we're going to heat up this thermal sensor, and I have to undo that to apply heat to it. And if I could have Jim hand me that torch over there, we're going to apply some heat. We're going to activate the blower. So we're applying some heat to the thermal sensor. Okay, our blower's now running, it's running in the high position. If I want to adjust the speed of the blower, I, I just turn the knob counterclockwise or clockwise, and you can see that the blower is slowing down. You can hear it actually. I'm going to go back to the high position. 
and we're going to do a pullback on the shot just to see that, uh, to show you the kind of airflow. Now the airflow you're seeing is, it, it might be more than what you're going to experience because this top louver or vent has been removed. Um, if you want to get more airflow, remove it because that restricts some of the airflow. But again, just to give you a visual that by adding a blower, you can see that you're now going to have that heated air um, come into your living space. If you have any questions, give us a call at 262-989-4882. 262-989-4882. Again, this was a, a demonstration on an installation of a GFK 160.